Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a non bingoy rack with three high-scoring tiles. So I'll be looking to play off at least two of them. I could get rid of all three with fame, F-E-H-M. But if that's not possible, well, I could play F-A-H or F-E-H. Now, I think through an S, I would have Freshman. Having seen F and H and M, I, my first thought was that there wouldn't be a bingo, 7 or 8, but Freshman certainly works. No S. I'll quickly consider these floaters. Nothing with the P. How about the O? So, I have 4. They're not seeing anything. X doesn't look useful. Nor does I, E. No and R, no. Okay, so is there anywhere for fame? Well, there is lower down. But I can score a lot more and retain one of these tiles higher up. So I have MEH. Wow, that is providing a super hot spot. If you've got an E or an A, so that's probably not particularly wise. Maybe I should play Fame. I think I will. Fame for 21. And I have Rankers and possibly Charons. Fame only takes an E, not an S. So Rankers plays in column 9. Do I have anything through the floaters higher up the board? Not seeing anything with the P. How about the O? Doesn't look helpful. No, what about these letter pairs? Well, E are the more, the more useful of the two. But no, I'm not seeing anything. FE takes nothing in front, so I think rankers in column 9 is all I have. If that's blocked, well, I do have a C for going in front of the H. Poxia takes nothing in front. Just looking for any possible alternative lane. Oh, wow, opponent does take my spot. Ah, but provides a new one because of ids. Fantastic. So, is Caron's good? This would be 67. Actually, I'm going straight with Rankers. I don't want opponent to get value from the C in the top row. Wow, pretty good pickup. I must be fairly close to a bingo here. No duplicates, balanced. All bingoy tiles apart from B and U. Not too many floaters to consider, and the available ones are likely to be taken by opponents. Wow, this does look... Ah, oh, I have Dorbia. So, does it play? It takes nothing. GA, not good. Oh, wow, look at this. It plays in column six. Fantastic. Making deer. So, surely opponent must be drawn to the top of the board. He won't be able to resist these triple word squares. Dorbia's going to open another triple triple lane. But triple triples are few and far between. So what if opponent plays bottom left and I don't get my bingo down? What would I do with this R? Can I get my B doubled? No, I could play Dorbia onto the R. That would get the D doubled. 
36 points, that's not bad. Ah, Dorbia also plays in Roel because of fame, and that wouldn't be opening a triple-triple lane. That would begin in column two. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad opponent took a while with that play, because I overlooked this spot for a while. 85 points. And I think the bingo run ends. Triplicate A. But if I play off just two A's, or A-I-A, rack leaves pretty good. And I have a 100-point lead. AP not good. I was looking to get value from the X. No, not seeing a way of doing that. C only takes an H. I could play AI, but that retains 1A, and I'd like to sort this rack out in one go. So I can play AIA underneath D and A. And that takes out a hot spot. Durl only takes an S. I'm not seeing any four letter extensions of Durl. Fur takes nothing in front. But there will definitely be six letter front extensions of fur. Latissifer is good. Now, opponent's taken my spot. Most annoying. Wow, that is annoying. I had no alternative spot for AIA. What about playing through P and C? Um, I'm not looking for a bingo, just a way of playing off a couple of A's. No. Okay, so what about this? Not as good as playing off an I as well, but it's not bad. And if I draw one or two consonants, then I could be very close to bingo territory. So, arbor for ten. Well, I do draw one consonant. Do I have anything here? I don't think I have a seven. Not too many floaters to consider. Are there any? Well, I guess there's the A of rankers with a multiple overlap. P and C. Doesn't look hopeful. Okay, so I'm not looking for a bingo. I'm looking to get value from the rack. And it's slightly vowel heavy, which is not surprising since I wanted to get rid of one more vowel. I kept a vowel heavy rack leave last go. Quite a tight board, but that's fine by me since I lead. Now CH is good, but if I make use of that spot, I'm setting up a super hot spot because a lot of vowels go after CH. A, E and I. Maybe I can play through P and C. I had a look last turn, but couldn't see anything. But I've now got an H for going after the C. And there's a double double lane through these O's in row E. I don't think that's useful with my rack. Both blanks to come, and half the bag is empty, so that would suggest tile turnover is a good idea. A U can, well, can go between Q and A, but not many UU words. Wow, just not seeing any hotspots for H and P. What about column 7? Only the O can go in front of the P. Ah, well, I have... Oh, wow, I was going to say I have hope. I don't now. But only 18 points for opponent. That's encouraging. So, how to sort this rack out? Oh, ho is good. 
could play Toho, keeping Val heavy rack, rack leave. Bottom of the board provides very slim pickings. Here yeah, doesn't take anything I've got, it takes nothing, so I think I am looking around box and poxia. So, I can play foe for 20, photo for 26. I think I will, it's turning over one tile, I don't think the T add six to AEI, although it's very good, it might add four. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep scoring and turning it over tiles with the blanks to come. Great, I draw, well, I kept AEI, I draw three consonants, so that's quite fortunate. Could have been a lot worse. And if opponent wants to play in row D, that's fine by me because we'll just start a ladder to the top left and we'll be taking out the bingo lane in row B. Now could I have a bingo here? I'm not seeing a 7, I've got the A-G-E ending. Only the floating A on the board I think. Oh wow look at that fantastic bingo by opponent. How painful. I just stick one floater out into the open and that's all it takes. So, a, well, one floater in the S, does that help me? Egalites. I think that has an anagram. Elegiast. Okay, well, neither of those plays. Wow, no scoring tiles on my rack. How annoying. So, how to sort the rack out. This doesn't feel great, only 13 points, but where else am I going to score? Where else? And this is obstructing opponents' use of the triple word square in the middle. I do still lead, just just a just a diminished lead. Now, did I just say egalites? Well, don't I have that right here? I think I do. Good grief! I overlooked that that bingo lane and that bingo. So, is there anywhere else for it? I don't think so. Wow! What a stroke of good fortune. I was so close to playing Gee for some lame 13 points. Wow. Fantastic. My lead restored. Both blanks still to come and only 30 tiles in the bag. I'm not bingoing this turn, but I do have some scoring tiles, so should be getting more than 13 points. So, I don't think I can get rid of all three of these. Is there somewhere for war? W A R. Well, I have wars in row H. That's pretty good. Still one S to come. Egalite takes an S. Gosh, amazing how that S prompted Egalite when I had Egalite on my rack. So I'm looking for war spots. Egalite not helpful. Although close, Rue and Or are good, it's just GA which isn't. Through an O I would have Wowed. But War's pretty good, that would leave D-E-I-M. Some pretty useful floaters down here. Now I don't, I don't think M-E-A-W is good, but D-E-A-W is. That might be worth considering because the floaters in Egalite are very bingo-y and the board is pretty tight apart from those floaters. And Jew would take out a column 15 for a bingo ending in S and with two blanks to come that's got to be a possibility. And my lead 
only a hundred points. Great, that makes life a lot easier. Opponent takes out the, the war spot. I would have spent some time ruminating over that versus this. But I think due for 34 is the play. Still no blank. Wretched, wretched bag. And I draw the U, so I have the dreaded UW combo. But look at this, still an 80-point lead. Can I hang on? 25 tiles in the bag. Is opponent going to pull out another bingo like Snipeyust? I don't think I can reach the W in column 15. I have Wuss in row B. That's not bad. Amine is a pretty good five-letter set. Let me see how many vowels are left. 12 out of 32, not many. So, a slightly vowel heavy rack, not a problem. But I'm not overly enamoured of wuss. It is setting up a mild hotspot at the top of the board, and it's mainly not just not scoring very much. But it is getting rid of W and U. ZE takes nothing in front. If I place my W in front of OS, well... That takes a T in front, so I'm not minded to do that. Now, unmu is good. What would that leave me? That would leave AIW, not great, but unmu, that's got to be pushing 30 points, which is half a bingo. Plus, it's turning over four tiles with these blanks to come. What about the triple letter square under the A of Egalite? Don't think I've got anything amazing there. I do have Unmu on my rack. Does that play anywhere? No, again, the G getting in the way. Doesn't take an E. I have un, unso in row B. Now that's much more promising. That leaves AIM, which is not a bad rack leave. I'm not going to get into problems with that. The M is a get out of jail card with a couple of vowels. Eight minutes on opponent's clock. So, any advances on unso? And is unso better than unmu? 30 points for unmu, 32 for unso. Yeah, and unso burns the W, whereas unmu keeps the W and burns the M, so unso definitely a better play. And unmu, of course, creates a brand new bingo lane which. I'm not in a hurry to do because opponent is only one bingo behind. None of these two letter sets I've created are particularly useful for a nine letter play, although there will be bingos through all of them. Opponent taking a while on this place, seven minutes on his clock. Abba, Abba Abba takes a C and an S, I think. And there's also this triple word square in the middle. I'm thinking of ways opponent might create a bingo lane. And if opponent's got a blank but has not got a playable bingo, he may be looking to create a lane. But any play down from RE isn't going to score very much. And I'll be coming straight in with a 32-point play. And Unso will not be creating any new lanes because the Z is blocking the U as a bingo floater. Column 12 quite hot in the sense that bingos beginning with S can play there. And the remaining tiles do look quite bingo -y. 
a fair few non bingoy tiles, but you can see A, Z's, N's, R's, T's, S's and blanks. Quite a few of them to come. 34 points for Jew, that was a good score. And that's what you want to do. If you can't bingo, it's good to keep on hammering in with 30 and 40 point plays. Just wondering if there are any eights with this rack, but I don't think there are. Opponent, wow, I was going to say opponent down to five minutes. He has now played. Cutie does take an S. So do I do something about that? What can I do? Well, yes, I can do something. I can do this. And I, I'm going to, it's less points than unso, the rack leaves worse, but I'm taking out a super hot lane and again inviting a ladder which is just going to choke the ball. And I draw a blank, fantastic. And the rack as a whole is pretty good. So do I have a playable bingo? Probably not. But do I? Any seven letter lanes, only a massive overlap down the bottom, although I do now have, yeah, here we go with this ladder to the top. So T not available as a floater, W would need to be part of W and S or ending in W and I don't have one. Oh wow, I'm surely I have a bingo through ET, but it's going to be extremely hard to find. So, what to do? I'm in reasonable shape, 60 point lead on a board with no bingo lanes. 15 tiles to come and they look a lot less bingo-y now. Just wondering if I have a nine letter play in column 15, something OWS. Don't think I do. So, I've been avoiding this, but let me think about DI and ET. Let me just put in an ending like this. I'm quite averse to creating a triple triple lane. It might be opponent's only way to win. What about row B through the S? So, utensils, that doesn't work. 11 minutes on my clock. If it begins UN, uni style not good, N not available. Wow, what a tricky situation. What about DI? How would that end? So coming back to ET, let me just run through the alphabet with ET in mind. Not seen anything so far. Still nothing. This is very hard to properly think about ET on this. With this rack. Ten minutes on my clock. That's the out prefix. I think the problem is I'm just thinking of E double T E endings and I don't think there are going to be any such bingos. No. So what am I going to do here? Hmm. 
maybe consider this S. Alanites. It just doesn't feel promising in fourth place, but I do have nine minutes. So that's outlines and illusions. That would be nice, a bingo beginning with Q, but I'm not seeing one. Insult at Lustrine, so close. Lutonist. Okay, so what am I going to do? And this is a troublesome rack because I've got no scoring tiles. Nothing goes in front of gay, so I don't have to take, I don't have to occupy this top right square. Can I reach the W? Because now I won't be creating a new lane. No, I don't think I can. Ah, the other, there is a seven letter lane in row N. Nothing beginning with S. What about C? No, eight minutes on my clock. So what are the sevens with this rack? Alanite doesn't play. Tunicle. And cut line. And line cut. Untiled. Wow, so close. Not seeing anything possibly nuts like. Outline. That looks like there should be something, but I'm not seeing it. Lutians. Luniest. Okay, this doesn't look promising. I'm running a little short on time now. So what to do? Play off the U, surely. Any spots on the board, I can do that. 15 tiles to come. And I guess the L, if I play off just L and U, this is my plan, playing off L and U. And I'm going to play them here to stop opponent bingoing through this S. Lun for six. Wow, and I draw V and U. That's pretty brutal. Just wondering if I had V and U let through ET, but I've already got a T. And by playing Lun, it means I, I've now got access to the triple letter, triple word square in the middle without creating a triple, without creating a bingo lane. Well, it would be a very precise one. So I'm looking to play off V and U. I don't think unview is good. It's unwive. Look at this, only a 35 point lead. I don't want opponent to catch me. 12 tiles to come. VAE is good. I'm just playing Gov to keep the really good rack leave. Well, I do have bingos. I have ancient. Just wondering if there are any which have this massive overlap. So any with a blank as a C or an S to, to hook ABBA. 
Well, ancient doesn't work. How about the S, Danine? Wow, just fails at the last. If the opponent opens a lane, I'm in very good shape to take advantage of it. Gov has taken out DI, ET still available. I'm sure I've missed bingos through that. Wow, do... Well, no, I, I don't have Satinette because that would only have one N. I have anti as an initial part of a word with N-E. So, three minutes on opponent's clock, five on mine. Ancient doesn't work. I'll just use opponent's time to look. That's ancient. Well, that feels like there should be something. Antigen. No. The E not going under G or L is likely to be a problem. Manite. Two minutes on opponent's clock. What a, a grim ending to this game. But I do have a slender lead. Can I hang on? N train. And tranny. Is there really nothing here? Tannies. Is Tannies good? Possibly one I should know. Ah, Inanist and Stanine. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's ancient with a T. Okay, so opponent plays Zell. So what am I going to do here? Nine tiles in the bag. I'm just going to play off the N. I draw an E, matinee. That doesn't work. I lead by 40. And there's some pretty horrible tiles to come, J and F. There goes the J. 27 for opponent, that's a, a big score. Still a bingo lane for bingo's ending W. Four minutes on my clock. Double E, well, E's didn't go well in row end, so I, I'm not going to look. No scoring tiles. I'm just going to play AE down here for 15. Nothing with a W that I can see. Again, there could be something with a big overlap. So I have a nation. Wow, what an end to this game. One minute on opponent's clock. Is he going to crack and create a lane? Because surely I can play through pretty much any floater. Now, ET still available. I'm not seeing anything with this rack. And no scoring tiles. I do have the duplicate N, so I'm looking to play off N or NO, but only three tiles in the bag. I think this is the point when opponent has to open a lane. But what if he doesn't? Well, I've got a bit more time than he has. Can I reach the W with a non-bingo? That's probably the play. Well, not that I can see. Now, what about the blank as a C or an S? Nothing with the C. In tones and tension, so no. Just looking to see if either of those play anywhere in row N, and they don't. 
20 seconds on opponent's clock. V available for score. So I have Nevi. 14 points. Good grief. That's how slim the pickings are. An S on the end of cow would pick up a decent number of points. Opponent's gone over time. He immediately loses 10 points and he will forfeit the game if he doesn't complete all his moves in the next minute. AE not available for the ending of a word. It would have to be there would have to be one or two tiles afterwards. Okay, play, opponent plays one tile. I'm only going to play one tile. So leave one in the bag. And I need to play quickly to take advantage of opponent's time trouble. I'm going to play down here. Great, I draw a scoring tile. And I still lead by 30 points. Now, can I reach the W with this Y? Hopefully opponent's got the V. Well maybe he maybe he doesn't. Do I have anything in row N? And do I have a seven? In case opponent opens a seven letter lane, I have omniety. Wow, an opponent's forfeited the game. He didn't get his moves out. Wow. Well, that was that was a proper treacle game. That just ground to the most astonishing halt for the last what seems like two hours. So well done if you're still here. Now, final score: three hundred and fifty-three for opponent, three hundred and eighty-six for me. A winning margin of thirty-three points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Probably tons. Wow, what a game! I know some games are tightened nitty but that was to the extreme so opponent to go first with poxia and no hint of a closed board at this point menorah double double through the o that's nice i play fame for 21 yeah and i didn't like feh because it was setting up such a super hot spot and i like the rack leave after fame opponent plays a drag and here we go that rack leave has paid off Rankers available as a bingo, and clearly Caron's not good. Opponent plays Durl. And here we go, Dorbia. Fantastic. Opponent with the Q. Does now offload it. And what do I do here? I play Abba for 10, keeping a decent five-letter set. Opponent plays a Box. Wow, cheapo, D10. Oh wow, providing a ton of floaters, opening column 15. Not a massive fan of that. Yeah, and I only get two fewer points, so I'm happy with my play. Fantastic bingo by opponent. What a different game it would have been if he hadn't had one. But look at this, I come straight back with Egalite. Opponent plays Z. And Wade N10, where's that? Wow, W-A-D-E. How interesting, keeping I-M-W. What do I do? I play Jew for 34. I prefer my play. Wade opens up row O. Opponent plays QT. And he did have an S. So I block that. Interesting, I block that with more. But if I'd played Unmu, I would have been blocking bingos in column 15. So I think Unmu would have been... A better play, bigger score, and a better rack leave. Opponent plays a go. And wow, here we go. So this is really how the board remained for the rest of the game. There was a bingo through DI, Toluidine. That was the only one. What do I do? I play Lun. Yeah, and most of these other plays, N6. Yeah, I'm not going to play that, opening up row O. Opponent plays cow, could have stuck an S on the end for 48. Got 30 points. 
No, Miss Bingo here, but I had venue onto the W. That would have been the play. Instead, I play Gov. <coughs> opponent plays Zal. <coughs> no, Miss Bingo here. I'm surprised. And I play Un and On to keep a good rack leave in case opponent <coughs> opens the board up. Opponent plays CJ. <coughs> oh, wow. Retiny. N6. Gosh, after all that effort of considering row n bingos there in fact was one with a retain rack retiny n6 yeah beginning on this triple letter square making ret gi an la and die so i play ae opponent would have had a bingo straight in row o so that retiny may not have been optimal no bingo for opponent plays fame I play off just one tile to leave one in the bag in case the opponent's got a bingo. And look at this, he jolly well might. And N might have blocked one. Ah, and this is when opponent runs out of time and doesn't play. I guess he was just desperately looking for a bingo, thought it was the only way to win and couldn't find one. So what an astonishing game. It went on forever and even longer than that. But look at this. At the end, a winning margin of 20 points, and the win is, as in all games, and Scrabble in particular, the, the main priority in the game. The board got super tight at the end, but I had a 20 or 30 point lead, and that suited me fine, and I spent the time retaining good tiles so that if opponent created a lane, I would be in a position to take advantage of it. He didn't do that, and the game ground to a strangulated conclusion with me hanging on to that slender 20 point lead so absolutely fantastic fun many thanks to opponent for a great battle i hope you enjoyed watching that game like and subscribe and i will see you next time